This is SDR News and Geekazine.com's coverage of NAB, brought to you by HP. Continuing coverage of NAB, we're back here with Dan. Of course, we just talked about the Z820 workstation with the red, uh, with the red uh, Mag 1.8 inch insert there. And uh, so, but we're, we were jumping over to now to a more desktop solution, uh, one piece desk, desktop solution in the Z1. Correct. We have a Z1, which we call an all-in-one workstation. Okay. As far as we know, it's the only all-in-one workstation you'll find anywhere. Other all-in-one computers, um, we wouldn't call it a workstation because they don't have the Xeon CPUs and the ECC memory and the Quadro graphics. Okay. But the Z1 here has all of those, which makes it a fully qualified, certified for Adobe and other application vendors workstation that you can have on your desktop in an all-in-one form factor. Okay, so what, what, what do we got here? We got two different types of workstations here or just the same? I've got two of the same thing. This one is up and running and the one next to it is, is shut down because I want to open that up to show you what it looks like inside because that's a pretty exciting thing. Um, just a few specifications here. It's a single CPU, single socket design with either a core i3 or one of a choice of different desktop Xeon CPUs. Um, the display here is a 27-inch IPS panel. Okay. Um, it's actually a 10-bit panel. If you have 10-bit content, you can see it in 10 bits on this panel. Really? Uh, color space is pretty much exactly sRGB. So if you're doing Rec. 709 for video, okay. you should find no surprises. It will be pretty much exactly what you need for most grading work, or at least, you know, unless you're really high-end grading. Um, 2560 by 1440 resolution. It's a very cool display. Yeah, definitely, you don't need two, two displays for this one. <laughs> well, I beg to differ. We do also sell a 27-inch display, which is an identical panel in a standalone monitor. There is a DisplayPort output on here, so if you want a second display... Oh, well, yeah, you can you get can. it, but, you know, for me, I mean, I've got, I've got two displays right now, but this could actually uh, make up for the two displays. Right. Yeah, you've you got room here for your HD at one-to-one uh, -one resolution plus some space for tools as well. Oh, yeah, definitely so. All right, well, let's take a look inside of this Z1 and see what we got here. Okay. This one's shut down, so I can open it up. You can open it when it's switched on, but um, I'm going to keep this one shut down. A um, couple of little features. It does have a little forward-facing camera up here, HD camera for, you know, Skype or anything. Little innovation is you can tilt it from a, a scroll wheel on the top. Okay. So that, that means you can center your face without having to tilt the whole device. That's nice. And if you tilt it all the way down, you get this little orange bar which says, I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> so you've, you've essentially rendered it blind in case you're a privacy freak. Yeah, well, yeah there's a lot of privacy freaks out there. I'm, I'm one of them, so. <laughs> right, so that was an innovation. Let's see how long it takes me to get inside this thing. All I need to do is to lay it flat, grab the catches, and open it up. And I'm inside. The best part about this is, is we've got a nice little hydraulic bar right here, uh, so it opens up. It doesn't, it doesn't go too far in the opening, but this is for when you close it, right? Right. I can close it like that. That's pretty cool. You see? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool, but it also protects your fingers, you know? Yeah. We don't want anyone getting their fingers slammed by, by this edge as it comes down. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, oh, go, go ahead. So, so in common with our other workstations, everything here is modular. Everything is easy to access, easy to service. For example, if I want to take out the graphics card, I just move this catch, and I have the graphics card taken out. Okay. This graphics is actually an NVIDIA MXM card, which makes it a mobile form factor, like you might find in a mobile workstation. In other words, a very high-end laptop. But we've built this thermal and acoustic enclosure around it to keep it well mounted. Now, if I if I went out and found another card that I really wanted to use, can I just take off the enclosure and put it on that card? Or? Well, it would have to be an MXM card. Yeah. And we wouldn't guarantee that its thermal performance would be correct within the envelope of what's designed here. Okay. Uh, there was an announcement just this week, though, that we are now offering the GTX 680M in this enclosure for the game developer people okay. when they want a workstation that has a, a GeForce in it. Okay. Uh, usually we find value in Quadro instead of GeForce, okay. but in this case um, we do offer one GeForce and that was announced this week here at the show. Okay. Great. So we've got, we've got the, the card out. Uh, let's, let's continue on here. Uh, are we going towards the hard drives or what? Sure. Hard drives are out. It was as easy as that. In this case, I have two solid state drives. We have a custom carrier here, but there's no screws needed. If I wanted to take the drive out, I just bend the plastic a little bit and the, the SSD is out. Just like with your laptop solution, that, that same thing happens. With, yeah, with, with our mobile workstations, there are a couple of screws you undo first to get the drive yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But to put it back in, you just drop it in here, drop the handle, and it's reinstalled. 
Perfect. It's as simple as that. The CPU lies under here. It's a single socket design with uh, an E3 1200 series Xeon processor in here. All right, and then uh, of course I see the memory right there. Memory is there. This is a this this for this architecture of CPU has uh, two channels of memory which come out one side of the package. So unlike the Z820 which had memory on both sides, this architecture has memory on just one side of the CPU. It's just just the Intel design. Okay. This thing here is just a fan which cools the memory. There's nothing really very exciting underneath it, but it's a fan. Blows, blows air through the memory out to the top of the case. And then the regular uh, the DVD or CD-ROM, whatever you want to change that out to. Okay, so um, the other things to note in, in, inside here, there is a number of thermistors in different parts of the case which monitor temperature in, I think, about eight different zones. And again, all the fans are ramped up and ramped down, just like they were on the Z820, okay. to deliver the right cooling without running too fast. To keep, the, to keep the acoustic noise way, way down, because you have to have a really quiet workstation if it's just you know, a foot and a half in front of your face. Down here, you may have noticed, we have a USB 2.0 port here okay. for some internal dongle. In this case, this is just a dongle for my wireless keyboard and mouse. Okay. But if you're running something like Pro Tools and you have an iLock from uh, Pace, then you can put it in there, and that's where you keep your license. And then when you close the case and put a Kensington lock in this corner, it keeps the thing locked. So somebody doesn't go and take it, take it home with them. And exactly. Use it, yeah. Right. So your expensive dongle is looked after uh, inside the box. Um, we, on the back here, there's a panel with some connectivity. We've got USB 2.0. We have audio. We've got display port. We've got a uh, port for a subwoofer to, to support these speakers here. And, um, and then over here on the side, oh, I'm sorry. Over here on the side, we have two USB 3.0 ports, okay. which, uh, which are the fastest connectivity in and out of this, this okay. workstation. That's an amazing, and, and the, once again, the best part is when it's all done, you just, you just let the case go down and, and the hydraulics will do the job. Exactly. Yeah, keep you safe. All right, well, w let's talk about price points on this one. What are, what are we looking at for this? So the base price point, base price on this, I think, is about seventeen hundred dollars, seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars. Um, but with that, you end up with no integrated graphics because you would then select an i, a Core i3, which, which has Intel graphics on the chip. Okay. All right, and that's what drives the display. Um, obviously, by the time you've added discrete graphics from Nvidia for the um, accelerating your workflow, whether it's Premiere Pro with Mercury playback or something like that. And by the time you've increased the memory to something useful like, say, 8 or 16 gigs, and it goes up to 32. And um, by the time you've selected a Xeon instead of the Core i3, I think this is probably around $3,500, maybe 4K. For a, for a good workstation that yeah. you can do some editing on. So. With a built-in killer display. All right. Well, Dan, we took up a lot of your time there, but we thank you very much. Learning about the Z1, we talked about the Z820. Of course, that's going to be another video over at uh, geekazine.com, over at sdrnews.com. Dan, thank you very much for the tour of these great workstations. I can't wait to try them out myself and see how powerful they are. So. You're, you're very welcome. <laughs>